In this video, we're going to try to find this integral or the value of this integral between 1 and infinity. So this is a improper integral because we are dealing with infinity here. So the, the bounds, one of them is not finite. So we have plus infinity here. For the function, we check that if it has any discontinuities. We have an issue here because we divide by zero. This one is never zero, but we are avoiding the zero by taking the integral between one and infinity. So the only issue is here, infinity. So first thing is that this function is positive. Okay, We can see that because we are, we are taking the integral between one and infinity, and in that interval, this one is always positive. The second thing that we need to notice is that uh, 1 over t squared of 1 plus t squared is the same as 1 over, over t squared. And we know that this one is convergent, okay? Because of this rule, 1 over t alpha dt is convergent when alpha is bigger than 1. We're taking the integral between 1 and plus infinity. So this is convergent, therefore this integral exists, okay? So we want to compute exactly its value. So to do that, we have to do uh, compute a, a primitive of this function, okay? So we know that this one is equivalent to this one here by definition. One, the integral between one and x of one over t squared of one plus t squared dt. So when this one exists, we have this one here. Okay. So our issue now is try to find this one. Once we find this one, we will take the limit as x goes to infinity. This one always exists, okay? It's a continuous function, and for all x bigger than one, it does exist, okay? From our definite integral rules. Now let's compute this one here. So uh, one, the integral between one and x of this function, one over t squared to one plus t squared dt. So we're gonna get rid of this square root because it's a problem. To do so, we let y equals the square root of one plus t squared. So in this case, we have dy is gonna be t, t over one plus t squared dt. Therefore, dy, so this is just y, it's gonna be y over t, so dt is y dy over t. And also we're gonna have y squared minus one is t squared. Okay? So let's change this one here. Uh, and in, in, in here, when, when, when t is one, y is square root of two. When t is x, y is square root of one plus x squared. And we have dt is y dy over t, and this is just 1 over y times t, t. Okay, so we get rid of the y's and we need to have t squared. So that means we have the integral between square root of 2 and 1, the square root of 1 plus x squared, 1 over y squared minus 1 dy. Okay, so the... This one here, we know that's a fraction that we can decompose. So we have one over y squared minus one can be written as one over one minus y minus one over y plus one. We need one half. So that's it, one half. So now let's go back to this integral. So you have one half, the integral between square root of two and square root of one plus x squared, one over y minus one minus 1 over y plus 1 ty. Now we know this one here because it's that's the that's the, the natural log. So let's go on and do it. So we're gonna have the natural log of y minus 1 minus the natural log of y plus 1 between square root of 2 and square root of 1 plus x squared. So let's get rid of this minus here by just using the rules of the log. So we have the natural log of y minus 1 over the natural log of y plus 1 between square root of 2 and the square root of 1 plus x squared. 
let's do some evaluation here let's do it here so it's going to be the natural log of square root of 1 plus x squared minus 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1 okay minus the natural log of the square root of 3 minus 1 over the square root of 3 plus 1 okay so now let's use the, 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 the laws of the log to invert this one here, this minus with this one. Okay, one final step before we take the limit. So we have one half the natural log of one plus the square root of one plus x squared minus one over the square root of one plus x squared plus one. And here we have the natural log of the square root Square, square root of 3 plus 1 over the square root of 3 minus 1. Okay. So our issue now, this is finite. Okay. Now here we take the limit. Okay. So the limit here when x goes to infinity. So we have plus infinity over plus infinity. We have to get rid of this. Okay. So the, 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 the idea here is that okay let's let's work it out let's work it out here okay so we have the natural log of 1 plus x square square root minus 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1 okay so we multiply by the conjugate so now let's forget about the log for now so we have square root of 1 plus x squared minus 1 Okay, let me move this one here, so I'll make it easier for me to, to do it again. Minus 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1. So if we multiply by the conjugate of these ones, it's going to be square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1 over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1. Okay, on top we're going to have x squared over 1 plus x squared plus 1 square root square okay we need to simplify this one more okay we will have to take okay let's take the x squared outside of the square root we're gonna have x squared here okay okay we're gonna have 1 over x squared plus 1 okay I made the square root bigger plus 1 over x okay so we have this one as 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared plus 1 over x so now we take the limit because when we take the limit we are taking the limit of this one the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared plus 1 so it's this limit here so when we take x so as x goes to infinity okay so here this one is will go to 0 this one will go to 0 and we have 1 over square root of 1 which is 1 therefore this is just the, the natural log of 1 okay and therefore this is 0 and therefore our limit in this case for this this integral is just uh, this value here okay so this is the value that we we need so the, this one goes to zero okay and therefore the value of the integral is the natural log of the square root of the square root of three plus one over the square root of three minus one okay and this is the value of this integral so therefore, we computed the value, showed that this integral exists, and we showed exactly its value. Okay, here we apply the definition of improper integral. So we integrate over a uh, finite interval, and after that, we take the limit to infinity. That's what we did here. That's the definition of improper integral. We had no, no other uh, issues here, except the infinity issue. So that we took care of it by just using the definition of the improper integral. Okay, anyways, we computed this integral. Also remember this rule here. So one plus infinity one over t to the power alpha dt is convergent when alpha is bigger than one. So this is the one that we used here 
to just show that this integral exists. So we could have stopped a long time ago, but we did compute the value of this integral by using our rules and what we know about the integrals. Anyways, this is a, a long and uh, uh, we had to do a lot of in uh, a lot of computation to make it work. Okay, thank you very much.